The National Liberation Movement Spanish, Movimiento de Liberación Nacional, MLN, was a Guatemalan political party formed in 1954 by Carlos Castillo Armas. The party served as political platform for the military junta. History The MLN was founded as National Democratic Movement Spanish, Movimiento Democrático Nacional, MDN in 1954 by President Carlos Castillo Armas. It was the ruling party from 1954 until 1958. The party supported the government of President Miguel Idagoras Fuentes 1958 to 1963. The 1963 coup that saw the government of Idagoras Fuentes overthrown led to the MLN becoming the main party of the military. Although they were not successful in the presidential election of 1964 their candidate in 1970, Carlos Manuel Arana Osorio, was elected president, in coalition with the Institutional Democratic Party. Victory was also secured in the 1974 election when Kiel Eugenio Lagarid Garcia's candidacy was also endorsed by the PID. However they later broke their alliance with the PID for the 1978 elections. Its candidate, former President Enrique Peralta Azurdia, placed second in the election. The party was close to the Mono Death Squad. Another faction of the party, the National Reformist Movement, split away after the coup, although it never became a major factor in electoral politics. In the 1982 election, the MLN's candidate was former Vice President Mario Sandoval Alarcon, who placed second in what was considered a fraudulent election, followed by a coup d'etat in 1982. For the 1984 elections to the Constitutional Assembly, the party allied with National Authentic Central, another right-wing party, and the 23 seats they won constituted the largest bloc in the Assembly, albeit outnumbered by reformist parties. They renewed their alliance with the Institutional Democratic Party for the 1985 election. Once more, Mario Sandoval Alarcón was its presidential candidate, and placed fourth in the race while the alliance won 12 seats in Congress. The party faded thereafter, it ran alongside the National Advancement Front in 1990 without much success, winning just four seats in Congress. Left to continue alone, it secured less than 1% in 1995 winning a single seat and again in 1999 when it lost representation. See also Roberto Herrera Abarguen